There is a great thing about to start happening in the body of Christ. I didn't say in ECG, I said in the body of Christ, in all churches. This is why right now, a lot of great men of God who you know, they are going through a lot of attacks and accusations. And it's my word to all members of my church, all the followers of our ministry, not to take part and parcel of castigating, ridiculing, slandering, gossiping great men of God. It's not within the biblical ethics and we know the consequences of touching the anointed of the Lord. And I wouldn't want any one of you to be involved in touching men of God, attacking men of God and speaking. I would actually advise that most of you who you know such type of people stay away from them. I believe that all men of God are great men of God. It's not because they are great, but it's because God is great. And God on them, in them, is a great God. So stay away. Do not be involved. Whether they fight our ministry, or whether they say anything about our ministry, whether it's men of God saying things about us, stay quiet. Don't intervene. We don't fight. God fights our battles. We don't use words to fight. We are not here to justify who we are, to justify ourselves. We are justified by God. And the God who judges according to his righteousness, he will judge us. Let's pray for all men of God in the world. Let's stand with them and put them in the prayers. Because you see, what's happening now, it is a symbol of what is about to start happening in churches, in different churches, not on our church, but in different churches. There will be a great harvest of souls. So many lives will come to Jesus and a lot of testimonies will begin to spring forth. And I'm saying this thing to you. So it's very important to understand why there will be resistance before breakthrough. There will be a resistance before breakthrough. God is about to start doing things we have never heard, things we have never seen. God is about to do something that no eye has seen, no ear has heard. Pray for men of God. As our church, we don't want to be part and parcel of touching the anointed of the Lord or speaking or finding ourselves in the moments where we are commenting about the anointed of the Lord. You see, there's a world to fight men of God and tarnish and make people believe that God is not a miracle God and, and there's nothing like that and, and something's fighting with the power of God. But trust you me, what on earth would ever stand against the power of God and His anointing and prevail? There's absolutely nothing.